The difference between a nervous tick and actually releasing just a hair of tension so it's more comfortable is radical. It's huge. An example of this is if I'm looking at her in the eyes and I'm talking to her and I'm having a great conversation, but I'm nervous and I'm like, like this, that she sees that as more submissive. I'm not a confident guy. That's what she sees in her subconscious, at least that's what she feels. But if I'm looking at her and I'm enjoying her and the tension's building, maybe I glance down at her lips and enjoy her lips for a second. I come back and look at her eyes or I kind of just look away a little bit consciously without using a nervous tick, maybe enjoy a painting over there, check something out, come back. That is much more powerful. So in this video, I wanna talk about three things that make you instantly attractive to women. Now, I had to think about this one too, just like I said in my last video, because there's a lot of things that could make you more attractive to women. But so I started to think, what are the most common things I see in men? And I'm gonna talk about those right here, right now. But before I do, I wanna invite you to go ahead and hit that like button. I know you've seen some of my videos. If you've seen a lot of them, you really get a lot of value out of them. I'm gonna invite you early this time to smash that like button. If not, go ahead and watch a little bit, see what you think before you do. With that said, let's get going. Number one nervous tics. I see guys all the time that are bouncing around and they have massive nervous tics. This is one of the biggest things. They're like this, they're like this, their head's bopping, they're shaking, they're doing all these weird things with their body. They don't even know they're doing them half the time. This foot's tapping down here. And the more relaxed you become in your body, the more you feel down through your body, the more comfortable you feel to her. So I want to invite you to start to notice where all your nervous tics are and to start to learn to just let go and relax. Feel where the tension's at in your body. And the more you let go and relax while talking to another person, the more comfortable they're going to feel with you. Think about it this way. Women feel you. And what they're really responding to and really listen to this is how you feel in your body. So if you feel really anxious, nervous, bound tight, they're gonna feel anxious, nervous, bound and tight. As you start to feel comfortable in your body and you begin to enjoy your body, and even better, you begin to enjoy their body with your body, like you're looking at them and you're really enjoying them, the more relaxed they're gonna become. And that comes with relaxing. If you're shaking, you're nervous, you're tapping, you're doing this kind of stuff, then what happens is you're kind of covering up your anxiety with all those movements. So you may say, I don't feel nervous, but if you actually stopped all those weird movements, you'd start to feel the anxiety build in your body. And trust me, other people can feel it. You might just be used to it. So practice stilling yourself. What is it like to just relax, calm down, feel your body, feel your chest? That's number one. With a little bit of work in this area, you can have a huge improvement. I always remember these two guys that came up to me in a bar and they said they'd watched a lot of my videos and they said they were having trouble saying hi to girls. And I gave them basically these three things because I looked at how they were being. And that's what I thought about when I was creating this video. And the first one was to calm down and feel the tension. Once they calm their body, feel the tension. And we're gonna talk about the second one the next of the woman when they say hi. Look into her eyes, feel the tension, feel the connection, feel the calmness of their body and still themselves and say hi, enjoying that tension. And when they did that, they were surprised at the huge change in results in the bar. Matter of fact, how many more girls actually started talking to them for a while, which then made them nervous because they had to continue on. They, they said after like 30 seconds a minute in the conversation, they were like, oh my God, this is actually working. What do I do now? And they started to get nervous again, but that's a whole nother problem. So let's continue on. As I just alluded to, the second one is eye contact. So many of you guys are terrible at eye contact. Look women in the eyes and enjoy looking them in the eyes. A lot of you guys, this pressure builds up inside you because you're pre there's pressure building up in your body because you're tightening up and, there's, and you wanna look away to release the pressure. And every time you're looking away, looking down and you're talking and you keep doing this and you're like, yeah, and then you're kind of doing this, that's also a nervous tick, but every time you do that, the women see you as less confident, as nervous, as insecure. And that really changes the whole game. So I'm gonna invite you to practice holding eye contact, even if it's uncomfortable at first. Now, if it's uncomfortable for you, it might become uncomfortable for her. But after a few rounds of doing it and you start to relax, you're gonna notice a shift in the women because as you get more comfortable with eye contact, they'll get more comfortable. Now, ways to make the eye contact easier. First, again, relax the body, that'll help. That's the first step. Number two is eye contact. 
And as you look at them in the eyes, look at the left eye primarily. Don't dart back and forth. This is what I see guys doing this too, darting or looking up and down a lot. And just look at the left eye. If the pressure builds too much and you're sitting there and you're enjoying her, but it's getting really strong, slowly look, just glance at her lips a little and look back up or just glance a little off to the ear and come back. That is okay if it's a calm, controlled movement. You see, the difference between a nervous tick and actually releasing just a hair of tension so it's more comfortable is radical. It's huge. An example of this is if I'm looking at her in the eyes and I'm talking to her and I'm having a great conversation, but I'm nervous and I'm like, like this, that she sees that as more submissive. I'm not a confident guy. That's what she sees in her subconscious, at least that's what she feels. But if I'm looking at her and I'm enjoying her, and then the tension's building, maybe I glance down at her lips, enjoy her lips for a second, I come back and look at her eyes. Or I kind of just look away a little bit consciously without using a nervous tick, maybe enjoy a painting over there, check something out, come back. That is much more powerful. And that same a technique can be employed also on the nervous ticks. If you've got a nervous tick and you're used to constantly rubbing your arm and doing this, going like this, change it. If you can't stop, start by just rubbing your arm a little bit and enjoying touching yourself. Actually enjoy it. Don't do it unconsciously. If you have to cross your arms, cross your arms and relax into it. Enjoy it and then play with the tension of it. There's a difference between me doing this and me just relaxing and like I'm hugging myself and enjoying feeling my own body. It makes a big difference in her body. There's a difference between this, like nervousness, and me going back and enjoying touching my own body and letting her feel me enjoy my own body while I do it. So if you can't stay still, that's another thing you can do. So again, now we have the nervous sticks, we have the eye contact. And the key is to start learning to feel and enjoy your own body while making the eye contact. The next thing is voice. This is huge. It's one of the biggest things is guys are terrible with their voices. What they do is they say, hi, my name is Brian. What's yours? What, what are you doing tonight? How are you doing? You hear that up tone at the end of your voice? Now there's a lot more to it than this, but I'm gonna give you something simple and basic you can go out and use right away. You wanna get rid of that up tone. You don't say, hi, my name is Brian. How's your night going? Because that's a tension releasing uh, upwards energy. What you wanna say is, hi. Hi, my name is Brian. What's your name? You feel that, how my energy goes down at the end? It's a big difference. So how's your day going? You having a good day? Good. And there's a sense of me looking into her when I say stuff, especially on the initial high. When I walk up, it's not high. It's when I walk up, it's high. And there's a difference. I'm looking right at her or what's up? Or how you doing tonight? That's a little push even on that one. And you just kind of have fun with it. You relax into it, but you don't have that upward tone and you hold that eye contact. So. I'm gonna give you two examples just to kind of illustrate the point. I literally saw a guy do this in a restaurant. I knew he was gonna approach the girl. I could see him planning it out. She was sitting, two girls were sitting at a table giggling and having drinks together and he wanted to go say hi. Two really cute Asian girls. And he um, he was sitting at the table with his buddy and he got up the nerve and he walks over and he's like, um, um, excuse me. And you see how I'm looking out of the corner of my eye? See how my head's up? It's like, I, you know, I don't want to bother you. He had his hands out like this. I don't want to bother you, but um, I hope you're having a good night. My name is, uh, whatever he said his name was, you know, um, just I tell you, you ladies look really pretty. And do you see how my energy is going up? Or you ladies look really pretty. Uh, just, you know, wanted to say hi. Do you see all the apologetic nature of that? Do you feel the nervous ticks in my hands? That's very, very different than what I'm talking about. That's what we want to get rid of. If he'd walk straight over there with a decisive energy, and if you haven't seen my video on decisiveness, definitely watch that. And if he walked over, got up, walked right over there, stepped right into the tensions, right there, looked down at them, because they were sitting down, just like that, and looked him in the eyes, let the tension build for a second. They would have smiled and looked up at them and there would have been a pause. And then he could have said, hi. I just had to come say hi to you ladies and hold that tension. And then this one. You know, you two, you two look amazing. I love the way you giggle. Or what are you guys out doing tonight? You know, and you don't even have to really even give them a compliment. You'd be like, so what are you ladies out doing tonight? They know, they can tell by your energy. If they smile and they open up and they'd be really receptive, just sit down for a second. Excuse me, you mind if I sit down with you and just sit down? 
and you say it with that confident, relaxed tone. That makes all the difference in the world. So hopefully this is coming across on video. And uh, if you're really good at teasing, we haven't gotten into videos on teasing, you can tease or banter or, or, or you know, like the old David D'Angelo cocky funny, and that stuff works. But it only works when you're congruent with it. It only works if you're in your body. If you call a girl trouble, which I used to do all the time, it was my favorite thing when I didn't know what I was doing, and just walk up and say, you girls look like trouble. And you have to be relaxed in your body. You look like trouble, what are you up to? And you have to be calm and centered and grounded in your body. Because if I would walk up, and I'm sure I did this many times in the beginning, hey, you guys look like trouble, what's up? And there's that sense of releasing all the tension. Now, of course, there's gonna be caveats to this. If you're in a loud bar, you're gonna have to speak louder. You have to adjust to the noise. And it's gonna be harder to be as direct. If you're in a quiet bar, you have to come down like a bookstore or something, let's say, rather than a bar. Hey, what's up? You look like you're over here causing trouble. And trust me, you can say almost anything. Matter of fact, one of the easiest openers and one of the best openers is high. High, with the tension, a little bit of pause. Hey, what's up? So she gets curious, enjoy the eye contact, and just kind of sit in it for a sec. My name's Brian. And then kind of see what she does and go from there. It's that sense of not rushing, not pushing it, not making anything happen that makes you so powerful. You can almost say nothing and use that as an opener too. So we've got three things. I want to recover it really quick. Number one, get rid of all those nervous tics. Relax the body so she can feel you enjoying her through your body. Number two, get that powerful eye contact where your eyes aren't darting, where you're enjoying the eye contact because she really feels you through the eyes in particular. She feels your body through your eyes. So if your body comes down and then your eyes connect to her and you create a little bubble or a little connection, sometimes we call it the conduit, you'll create a much more powerful response or create a much more powerful response from her. And number three is your vocal tone. Your voice is so powerful in communication. So that vocal tone can be huge. And learning to direct your turn on, your heart, your curiosity from your body through the vocal tone can be one of the most powerful things you can do. And that's all done by learning to relax and feel the body, which we get more into in other videos and in the workshops and seminars. So if you wanna learn more about that, definitely check out our seminars because in those we talk a lot about that, do a lot of demos on stage. But anyways, hopefully you like this video. Hopefully it's powerful. Hopefully you're gonna go out and try it right away. You can go try this right on the street. Just walk up to somebody and say, hi, how's your day going? And just calmly relax and enjoy them. Walk up to the barista, what's up? You having a good day today? And then enjoy her for a sec with your heart. And that's all it takes to get it started. If you wanna tease, you can tease her at that point. Hey, you look like you're causing trouble back there, what's up? and just start with something simple, play. And as we get more and more into banter down the road in future videos, we can talk more about that. But if you don't have these three skill sets down, you're not gonna be able to banter, tease, or do any cocky funny. It's not gonna work. So who's committed to going out and practicing these three simple steps today? If you are, make sure to put a comment in the video. And again, make sure to like the video if you liked it and got value from it. Also make sure to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe. We're growing the channel. We're gonna be putting out a lot more content and I really want to make sure you don't miss any of it. And also make sure to hit that bell notification. With that said, remember, only the confident really live. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.